We are following breaking news tonight. We've learned that another set of human remains have been found at Lake Mead. This is video from a man who says he discovered the remains at a swim beach today. And tonight, investigators are still on the scene working to find answers. Fox says Joe Vial live out there right now with the investigation that's going on into the evening. Joe. Yeah, so once again, we are at Swim Beach right now. Uh, it is quiet, but we do want to show you the scene just a short time ago. So park rangers and coroner's vehicles were here just off the beach, not far behind me. This is where that witness discovered human remains today. The group did carry a large bag away, and they left and has since uh, pretty much taken off. And uh, from this area, it's, it's, it's quiet now. There's nothing out uh, behind me except the water. And now we want to show you a video that a witness took today. That was around 4 o'clock, and we have blurred that video because it is disturbing. Uh, body parts were floating in the water. A man says his daughter saw the remains just off the shore here at Swim Beach while camping around 4 o'clock today. So, of course, there are a lot of unknowns right now. Of course, uh, how long has this body been here? Uh, was the person maybe dumped here? Uh, is it a male? Is it a female? What is their identity? Of course, those are the unanswered questions tonight. But we will keep you updated on the investigation. Reporting live from Lake Mead tonight, Joe V. Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Whose remains were found at Lake Mead? Tonight, the man and his family who found the body yesterday are speaking out in the hopes they can help. And this is now the third body found in the lake in the last three months. Fox says Alexis Fernandez spoke to the man about his message and why he's sharing the video of what he found. It was supposed to be a normal day at Lake Mead for the Catalan family. Shortly after they arrived to Swim Beach on Monday afternoon, Jesus Catalan says his daughter noticed something in the water. When my daughter got close to the water, she came back to me and said, Dad, I think there's a barrel in the water. Can you check it out? It looks like a body. He recorded this video showing the discovery. I started to check and I saw bones inside and said, wow, I need to check this before I can call someone. He says he thought it was a joke at first because it was in a touristy area. We were left in shock and my kids didn't want to continue our picnic. They said, let's go, and we left surprised. We are still in shock. This is the third body found in Lake Mead in just the past three months. The first back in early May was also found in a barrel. Another set of remains was found a week later in Colville Bay. This as water levels continue to recede. Catalan says he hopes this discovery brings some closure to the person's family. Alexis Fernandez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the Clark County Medical Examiner's Office is working to identify the person and the cause of Tonight, death. Tonight, confirmation that a discovery of bones found at Lake Mead are in fact partial human remains, according to the Clark County Coroner. That's right. They were found in the area of Swim Beach. Now, the person who found them says they were about to wash up on shore. Victoria Saha is at Lake Mead right now with a look at what's next to try to identify them. Victoria. Yeah, right now we're by the marina here at Lake Mead. The human remains that were discovered yesterday are about five minutes north of here. And throughout the day, we spent our um, time here at the lake. We saw plenty of people still enjoying the water despite the latest discovery of the third set of remains. I do want to warn you guys at home that footage we're about to show you could be graphic for some. An afternoon at the beach ends with a startling discovery. A viewer documenting his entire experience as he discovered the remains. This discovery marking the third set of remains found at the lake as it continues to recede, keeping the Clark County Coroner's Office busy. It is partial human remains at this point, but we don't have confirmation of exactly what is there at this point. A different circumstance than the other two remains found in May. First, a body was found in a barrel. Weeks later, kayakers found skeletal remains. Those two are confirmed to be males, but we don't know how old they are. When it comes to identification, identification is the linking 
of anti-mortem information to post-mortem information. Post being what we see now after death and anti being what was collected previously. So we have to make sure those things align to confirm an ID. Rouse says blood and tissue samples will be sent out to be analyzed. Monday's discovery of the third set of remains didn't stop people from enjoying Swim Beach. It's a little unsettling for sure, and uh, you just got to keep your eyes open and uh, try not to swallow the water. We certainly hope they don't close the lake because of it, but we, I mean, I guess we would understand if they had to do, they got to do what they got to do. Despite what could resurface, they're enjoying it as long as they can, even if inches of lake mead disappear every day. Rouse also says her office will exhaust every option to identify the remains. They tell me they typically hold on to them for about a year unless they have any solid leads. But they also said they are working to fi figure out the cause of death as well. Reporting from Lake Mead, Victoria Saha, live local now. As the water level continues to drop here at Lake Mead, people say they are expecting to find things such as clothing items and even boats like you see here. As more human remains are discovered, visitors say it is alarming. I'll probably keep an eye out and with it being low, I suppose there's obstacles I'll have to keep an eye out for it too. This marks the third time human remains have been recently discovered. The first two, including the body and a barrel, were found in May. This is video of the remains surfacing through the water Monday near Swim Beach. Visitors like Dina Kotka say it is a little strange swimming in the water where these discoveries are being made. The National Park Service says more are possible. Locals say they aren't surprised. A few weeks ago when there was a uh, barrel that popped up, so <laughs> there was about four of us. We hiked up the hill to see what was in it. It was empty. Investigators are still working on the identities of the remains that were found. The people who found the remains reported it immediately to the National Park Service, and they tell us that is the right thing to do. They were able to get out here and set up a perimeter for the investigation. They also want to remind folks that it is illegal to come out here specifically to search for human remains. Reporting at Lake Mead, I'm Joe Muller. For the third time since May, human remains have been discovered in Lake Mead near Las Vegas, Nevada. Authorities are still working to identify the body after it was found on Monday afternoon. Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, has shrunk to historic lows due to a decades-long drought. A World War II-era boat was also discovered partially sticking out of the lake recently. Water levels are at risk of dead pool status, which is when water is too low to flow downstream into the Hoover Dam. Waterways in Lake Mead have dramatically thinned over the past 22 years, according to satellite images released by NASA. In Lake Mead, the Clark County coroner has confirmed to us that partial human remains were in fact found near Swim Beach near that area yesterday. 8 News Now viewer Jesus Catalan sent us this video showing what he says are those remains. Right now, the Clark County Medical Examiner is helping with the investigation. Uh, we have a reporter gathering more information. We'll have the very latest in later editions of 8 News Now. Human remains were found here at Swim Beach at Lake Mead Monday night. Crews worked through the night to pull the body out of the lake, and now the coroner's office is providing new details. Partially encased in mud, those words used to describe the body found at the waterline of the swimming area along the shore north of Hemingway Harbor Marina. At 4.30 p.m. Monday night, National Park Service rangers responded to a report of remains spotted by a bystander at Lake Mead. Investigators say the gender of the person is not yet apparent and an investigation is underway looking through missing persons records as part of the effort. This corpse is now the third found at Lake Mead since May of 2022 as water levels drop, exposing a body in a rusted barrel in the Hemway Harbor area and a man whose bones were found in a newly surfaced sandbar near Col Bay. Some speculating online of possible connections to organized crime and missing Teamster boss Jimmy Hoffa. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Shaver. Parece, parece ser que encontramos algo. Parece un cuerpo esto que está aquí. Apagó el nivel del agua y parece que encontramos un, un cuerpo, un cadáver. Es el torso, las dos piernas, el hueso de la pelvis. Tiene un hoyo, parece, no sé, yo no sé, pero parece que fuera cuerpo femenino. La panza marcada, el pecho. Pero chequense los huesos de la pelvis. 
This is Belvis. Por este lado. Ya no sé, se me hizo muy, muy acartonado, no sé. Tendrá muchísimo tiempo, te le voy a dar la vuelta a ver qué. Cómo se. Pero aquí se mira la panza, muy claramente la panza. Los piernas. Five thirty four. Now this morning we are following developing news out of Lake Mead. The National Park Service is saying human remains were discovered at Boulder Beak Beach just yesterday afternoon. Now this marks the third time in just two months that remains have been found at the lake. Alyssa Bethencourt joins us live with the details on this investigation. Good morning, Alyssa. Hey there, Justin. Good morning to you. It certainly is a quiet morning here at Lake Mead and a very different scene from yesterday afternoon and last night. Investigators were here for hours collecting evidence and then, of course, pulling that body from the water. Now, I want to take this moment to show you some video sent into us by a viewer where you can see the moment that those remains were found. You can also see what appears to be a portion of the body floating by the shoreline. Again, this is the third time in just two months that remains have been found here at Lake Mead, discoveries like these becoming more and more common. Back in May, a body was found inside of a barrel that washed up from the receding lake. Those remains are believed to date back to the 1970s or 80s, and Las Vegas police say that person was shot. Then days later, another set of human remains were found, but officials believe no foul play was involved. Of course, these discoveries have left visitors concerned and ultimately feeling nervous about visiting the lake. What startles me the most is how recent, like if they're recent bodies or if they've been there for a long time. Because if it's more recent, that kind of scares me more, knowing that like maybe there's something we should be looking out for or like maybe there's something we do to put a stop to these new bodies.